I learned from my personal experience that sources of income come and go. For myself, I realized that there is no such business or such work that cannot disappear. Even if you show that you know what you are doing, even if you are one of the best professionals in your industry, any cash flow can go to zero. Yes, of course, a person with experience and certain skills will always be able to create a new source of income, but just keep one thought in mind. Nothing lasts forever. Even Steve Jobs was kicked out of Apple when the board of directors had the chance. Because of this, Pixar was born, and that's exactly what I'm telling you. Every change is an opportunity and when some doors close, new doors open. Personally, I'm always happy to go in a new direction, but that doesn't mean I give away something I already worked on for a long time without a fight. Yes, I think that you should be ready to take a step into the unknown, but it's also worth fighting for yours. If you have a decent source of income, think ahead about all the possible scenarios of how you could lose it and reduce these probabilities to a minimum. I highly recommend reading Robert Greene's book, The 48 Laws of Power. It needs to be studied very thoughtfully because each chapter is filled with deep thoughts and meanings. It will help both an employee and a businessman to think through their actions three steps ahead and also to always be prepared for the unexpected, which is I'm talking about. I have already told my story many times about how I lost all my sources of income shortly after I moved to a new country with my girlfriend. For several days I made zero cash, but very quickly I received an invite to a more than worthy position in one of the largest crypto exchanges. At that moment I decided not to refuse the offer, plus I wanted to gain another valuable experience. I say this to mean that you should always have a plan B. And I repeat the idea of the previous video that even when everything is going well, don't relax and think in advance about what you will do if the rules of the game suddenly change. Any business can unexpectedly find itself in a difficult situation. This is a reality that you need to be prepared for and which you need to accept. Another question is how you prepare for this. I'm talking about multiple streams of income. They can vary in type of origin. For example, it could be income from dividends and business or your specialization in different industries. I want to immediately warn you that at the beginning it's very hard to remove the dependence from one single cash flow. If you are employed, it takes almost all of your time. Working multiple jobs is possible, but you won't be able to infinitely scale your income this way. To use more leverage, people open businesses, but this also has its own nuance. Usually, this requires significant finance. So, it turns out that if you don't have rich relatives, to create a business you either take out a loan or work long and hard until you gain a startup capital. Then you create your first business and most likely realize that everything is not as simple as you thought. There are 10 times more pitfalls than expected and also financial expenses. Of all the businessmen I know, only about 5% were able to maintain and grow their very first company. The rest made mistakes, learned from their experience and succeeded only after that. What can I say? I'm not an exception. I failed far more often that I hit the target, but when I succeeded, the result was impressive. I just want to say that everything is gradual. Most people, before creating their first business, work as employees and accumulate the experience necessary to start their companies. To be fair, I know that not everyone does this. Some just skip the step and immediately move to creating a business. I have friends like this and, by the way, Steve Jobs also didn't work in hiring as well. After they succeeded in their first business, they scale up and open new companies, move to new industries. This is where diversification of income sources come into play. But I will repeat my words. Usually this diversification becomes possible precisely thanks to business or serious startup capital. The usual work is not scalable enough and even to receive an income from dividends you need to be able to invest correctly. Funny, but this also requires startup capital. But does all this mean that until you reach your business you don't have the opportunity to set up several cash flows? Well, Absolutely no. Almost anyone can get started with something small. For example, if you are good at baking wedding cakes, 
What's stopping you from starting to make them at home and promoting yourself through social medias? Often it all starts with self-employment and that's great. You don't need serious capital here, just your time and desire to change. But always remember the main idea. There is no such source of income that cannot disappear and just act accordingly. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this episode and for checking my previous videos as well. So if as usually it was useful for you, give me your like and write the comment below. If it wasn't, don't forget to give me your dislike and write the comment below as well. So basically any kind of reaction is very appreciated. Follow my channel and see you in a day after tomorrow. Thank you very much once again.